Now, glaciers around the globe are melting faster than ever. According to a UN report, the last three-year period has seen the largest glacial mass loss on record. Recognizing the urgency of this crisis, the UN has proclaimed March 21st as the World Day for Glaciers starting in 2025. The United Nations General Assembly has also declared 2025 as the International Year of Glaciers Reservation. During the year, global action will be mobilized through high-level political engagement, international scientific collaboration and education campaigns. UNESCO will play a key role in this effort, contributing both through scientific research and advocacy. The dramatic ice loss has totaled 9,000 gigatons since 1975. It is expected to continue accelerating and could lead to a flood of economic, environmental and social problems as sea levels rise. Five of the last six years registered the largest losses with glaciers losing 450 gigatons of mass in 2024 alone. And at this rate, experts say glaciers might disappear within this century. But globally, we, we can say we have some 275,000 glaciers left, disappearing quickly. And um, in total, the glaciers, together with the ice masses on the ice shelves of Greenland as well as Antarctica, it's about 70% of all the fresh water is stored in, in the ice mass. Important to know it is that WMO uh, only last month declared 2024 as the warmest year on record after a number of record-breaking uh, months with highest uh, temperatures. The accelerated melting has made mountain glaciers the largest contributors to sea level rise. This puts millions at risk of devastating floods and hurts water flows that billions depend on for hydroelectric energy and agriculture. Mountain glaciers have led to an estimated 25 millimeters in sea level rise with a 1 millimeter expected to be added each year. Each millimeter could mean an additional 300,000 people at risk of floods. Really, every tenth of a degree of warming that we can avoid uh, will prevent us from 2.5 millimeter of sea level rise from glaciers alone. And again, which prevents about 500,000 of people from exposure to annual flooding. Experts say preserving glaciers is not only an environmental imperative, it is a survival strategy. For centuries, glaciers have acted as natural reservoirs, storing fresh water and gradually releasing it to sustain rivers that provide water, irrigate fields and power hydroelectric plants. In regions such as the Himalayas, the Andes and the Alps, glacier-fed rivers such as the Ganges and the Yangtze and the Amazon form the backbone of, backbone of the economies and the ecosystems. However, rising temperatures are now disrupting this balance. Water flows from mountains are becoming erratic. The expanding glacial lakes in the Himalayas often cause glacial lake outburst floods. In August last year, one such event was recorded in Nepal's Khumbu region. There are more than 25,000 glacial lakes in the Hindu Kush Himalayas, with over 260 million people living in the region. These mountain-dwelling communities are dealing with the rapid melting of glaciers, increasing variability in water availability and raising concerns of related hazards. For more on this, our correspondent Saloni Murarka has sent us this report from Kathmandu. Listen to this. Nepal is one of the most disaster affected countries in the world and among the top 10 countries most affected by the climate related hazards. Climate change is melting the glaciers in the Himalayas at an alarming rate, affecting the fragile ecosystem, vulnerable communities and billions of people downstream. If the global greenhouse gas emissions continue at this trajectory and the global uh, temperature rises more than 4 degrees Celsius, by 2100, the Himalayan region will lose up to two-thirds of its glaciers, as per the study. For farming communities, this means water shortages, less feed for the livestock and increased risk of natural disasters like floods and landslides. The Hindu Kush Himalayan region encompasses eight densely populated countries, including India and Bangladesh, which majorly depend for its uh, energy and clean air and livelihood. In fact, many of the poor communities are already feeling the change in the lifestyle or the water sources drying up. In Nepal, 21 glacial lakes have been identified as potentially dangerous, out of which six have been put as a high risk. Saloni Murarka for Vyond, Wildes One in Kathmandu, Nepal. 
For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.